Alright, hello there guys. Um, so this video here, I just decided to quickly do a video about um, display width and height, uh, creating a, a, a display width and height that changes depending on the user's screen size. So when you start the game, uh, you, as you could see in my other videos of the game that I'm making, um, when the user opens the game, the game resizes to their screen size. You obviously can't see that um, using, obviously I don't use a different size monitor, um, but you can see that it changes, it's, it's full size, full screen, and it doesn't have um, display width numbers or display height numbers in the code. Uh, so it changes, it, it, everything in that window changes depending on the user's screen size so all the buttons resize and stuff I've set that all up um, I might do a video on that sometime later if I haven't already um, but I'm going to show you today how to make that resizable um, window so because oh, I found it quite hard to um, to find when I was looking for something to make it resizable um, it took me quite a while to find something that was what I wanted. Um, so, to start with, we're going to type info object equals. So, remember to camel case makes it easier to do variables. Uh, pi game dot display dot info with brackets. So, this is going to collect your display info um, when you start your um, game whatever. Uh, then we're going to go to display width. Actually I suppose I should show you what size th this is resizing at the moment so, so that we can show you the change afterwards. So it's going to bring up a canvas. Oh, hold on. Oh wait, that's supposed to be a capital. My bad. So there we go. So info. Um, right. Right, there you go. So this is the size of the screen, 800 by 600 width, uh, 800 width, 600 height. Um, obviously we can't close it because we haven't enabled that button. Um, so we're going to make this so it resizes to this screen here. Um, so what we're going to type is we're going to type info, oh, info object current uh, underscore W. So that's going to change the width. And if I show you that, it's going to be the width of the screen. So as you can see, it's not my, it's the width of the screen. Okay. I need to go back to this and close it. So now, I'm going to grab this code, and we're going to put it into the 600, and we're going to change the W to an H. So that's current height instead. So if we run it again, you're going to see that it's resized to the full size of the screen. And there. Um, so it doesn't actually, like when you start it, as you can see if I start it again, it doesn't snap to the top corner. That can be fixed, and I'll make a video on it later. Um, but currently, it's not really a problem. Um, uh, well, obviously, it, when I snap it to the top, it doesn't have this top toolbar, it just has the thing. I've only got it on the normal size because when I did it at the time, I didn't have a quit button, and so there was no way for me to get out of it, and it was quite annoying. So that's why I didn't do it. But I will make a video on something like something like snapping it to the top corner when I get around to it, and when I get up to that problem in my actual code. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Um, make sure to stay tuned for more videos. Uh, check out my older videos if you need anything that's there. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you.